so validation validation and verification these are two things which we are actually studying today and they come under the umbrella of data integrity so the accuracy the integrity of the data can be compromised uh during the data entry and data transmission all right you might commit few errors while the data is being entered or when the data is being transferred from one computer to another computer there might be a few bits which are either gained means they became one from zeros and dropped means they were ones initially and then now they have become zeros uh malicious attacks over the data that might be hacking attacks or might be deliberate changing of the data at the site or whatever or uh, by the accidental loss of data so data accuracy might be compromised so validation first validation is a method of checking if the entered data is reasonably or within a given criteria but it cannot check if the data is correct or accurate for example we might have a check for entering date uh, age so let's say system we have written a short code that accepts date uh, age between 15 and 20 years ab jaise koi 16 saal ka aur uske liye 19 saal likh do so instead of 16 19 will be accepted because data is valid but in verification we will find out that the data that was entered is incorrect so it means that valid data can still be non verified data sahi hai so actual age was 16 someone entered 19 19 was accepted because that was the within range that was set by the field where we are entering the data it is accepted so jab sara data enter ho jayega to uske baad fir when the form is printed out and when we will check we will come to know that oh this data is incorrect so validation are the checks which are programmatically written checks and they will check every single data which is being entered if it is as per the rules set by the data entry program so what are those few validation checks the first one is type check type check check whether the non numeric data has been input into the numeric field it checks whether non numeric or text data is entered let's say in a boolean field or if someone has entered text in date field means it makes sure that jo data aap dal rahe hain wo us field ki type ke mutabik ho that is called type check range check रेंज चेक का मतलब है कि जो हम डेटा इनपुट करेंगे वो नंबर है और उसकी एक रेंज है चेक्स वेदर डेटा एंटर्ड इज बिटवीन अ लोअर एंड अपर रेंज राइट देन वी हैव गॉट व्हाट अ लिमिट चेक लिमिट चेक का मतलब है कि रेंज में तो दोनों साइड्स होते हैं ना लिमिट में एक साइड होती है ठीक है लेट्स से द मिनिमम एज फॉर ओ लेवल इज 13 so if you are less than 13 you cannot appear o level but the maximum age is there is no maximum age okay so if there is no maximum age theek hai isbn uh, is an example of check agent yes so similarly if you go a gym and you see that it is written that maximum age of admission in this gym in this gym is 70 years it means it is limited then we have got format check so format check uh, whether the data that is being entered is as per the agreed format like we have got a format for date ddmm yy or we want an id to be entered like digit digit alpha alpha digit and then a special character something like that so when there is an agreed format data must be entered as per that format that's called format check then we have got length check length check means you have to count the number of characters in the entered data and they must abide by the set rules it checks whether the data that is 
entered the number of characters in that particular field is as per the agreed length. Then we have got presence check. Presence check is basically the check to make sure the data is the data field is not left empty. So the error that appears, you cannot leave this field blank. Something like that. Presence check must be applied to those fields where you don't want your user to leave the field or the box empty. Then we have got existence check. Now existence check is if you have entered an ID, then system wants to make sure that that ID is already present in the database or the store of data. So if you have entered a wrong ID and that wrong ID is not found in the database, then existing checks will give an error. All right, so people confuse between existence and presence check. Presence check is you cannot leave this field blank. Whereas existing check is whatever the data that you enter must be one of the data that are already saved in the database. Okay, only those IDs are requested which are already saved. If you have an ID which is not in the database, then get yourself registered, something like that. All right, so then consistency check. Consistency check whether the data in two or more fields comply with each other. For example, let's say someone has a chosen title as Mr. and gender as female. So that would not comply. The consistency, this is called consistency error. Okay. Let's say someone has chosen age 17 and in studies they are choosing PhD. So can, nobody can do PhD in 17 years. So if the data in one field does not comply with the data in another field, that is said to be the consistency check. And then we have got uniqueness check. <clears throat> uniqueness check means data in each field must be unique and that must not already be entered. That must have not been already entered in the, the same field ever before. Okay, this is uniqueness check is basically applied when we enter a new record. So these are the validation checks. Then comes verification. So you get the idea that validation checks are those checks which are programmatically applied behind every data entry field. They only apply to one field. Whereas verification applies to the whole collection of data in the record or the form or complete number of fields. Okay. Now verification. So what is verification? Verification is a way of preventing errors when the data is entered manually. It is a way for preventing errors when the data is entered manually using a keyboard, let's say. For example, a keyboard. Or when the data is transferred from one computer to another computer. So let's say verification is applied to two types of the data which is being entered manually. or Dusra in communications. There are two verification methods for manual data entry. One is double entry. And the other one is visual check. In communication, it is parity. Check digit. So 
चाहिए पेरिटी एंड देन वी हैव गॉट चेक सम ओके एंड I told you that uh, parity checksum and AR automatic repeat requests. So yeah. Okay. So double entry means that you are entering data manually, and uh, once you finish entering the data, you re-enter the complete data again, and computer checks it whether the two of the data that you entered were exactly the same or not. This does not apply to a single field double entry, like please re-enter your password or re-enter your email or something like that. This applies to the whole data entry, to the whole form. And then visual check. Visual check means that you have entered the data, get a printout and place it side by side with the original form from where you have copied the data and match them or put the print, uh, put the original form by your screen and check if the two are